Yes, great. Hello, Janvi. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Yeah, fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good too. So, congratulations. I was really, really happy to know that you got placed. Thank so, you. Yes, how are you feeling about it? Yeah, I'm feeling good and excited. Okay, that's really nice. So, first things first, can you tell a little bit about your degree background? My degree background is B.Tech actually. I'm a CSS student. Yes, I have a first job in B.Tech, but it is not developer role. I have a developer role in job sharing. I have an intention so that I have a job in 10,000 codes. Fine. So, did you research about other institutes? Yes, I researched, but uh, in 10,000 quarters, the main intent is Telugu classes and also um, live classes because of 10,000 quarters. It is okay. not recorded, Kada. Live classes, it is a great uh, thing. And you know, uh, 10,000 quarters, ni pictures. Okay. So, when you compare it with other institutes, so I'm sure you did a lot of extensive research about other institutions, right? What yes. made you trust 10,000 coders? Apart from the live classes and the sessions, what made you trust them? Yeah, their Instagram page mainly. Uh, you know, Instagram choosy 10,000 coders to join up and fix and uh, the reviews and all. Uh, uh, and also, um, Okay, okay. So whom did you approach through Instagram and what did they tell you when you spoke to them for the first time? Yeah, Instagram no message yes, I know. the Suman naku call yes, sir. Regarding all, I mean, Anni explained yes, sir. What is what training about training about internship about interviews, all all the aspects. Yeah, that's it. So were you able to trust completely, or you had that teeny bit of doubt? Is like I'm not sure. Yes, I'm not, uh, yeah, um, I mean, I don't know. As a like. Uh, Trust Ledu, first of all. I mean, at the starting moment. And then, first day class, 39 Tarvata, uh, trust Ochindi because uh, uh, the way, I mean, he explains the trainer, explain the classes and all. I'm very much impressed. It is like Chala Adamayat Atu Chaparu. And also, after cla uh, trainer class, Chapin Tarvat Kura, uh, mentors Suntar Gada, Amen Adanga Kote, Balu Chala Nika explain Jasaru. I like that most. Okay, great. So in your review, the thing that I came across throughout was 10,000 coders exceeded your expectation. So you had repeated that sentence a lot of times. So I realized yeah. that created quite a lot of impact in you, right? So why yeah. that phrase particularly? What was your expectation and how were your expectations yeah. exceeded? Yeah, um, uh, actually in first 10,000 coders join in the because of uh, um, to learn developer, I mean, development uh, course. Either it is front end or back back end. Um, at the at the last I I got a job now. Until I got a job, I got a profit. I mean, developer role only. I got a job. Yeah, it is what I expected. So that uh, it is exceeded my expectations. Any chapter? Okay, great, fine. Can you quickly recall and go back to the first day at ten thousand coders and what would what was it like in a new place, learning something new? So what was your feeling like on the first day of classes? Yeah, first class on the uh if put my classes uh seven ki start day, nine ki end out in the it was the it was the best because morning morning one key refreshing out and the classes. Like uh, first day it was very interactive. Okay, okay. So can you elaborate a little bit more about how your technical sessions were? How did they happen? What did they do during your technical sessions? Technical sessions in a sense, uh, the coding challenges, practical exercises was uh, very good. Yeah, they helped me a lot uh, on hands-on experience of Chindi. Uh, mini projects shared them well. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, how was it? How did you cope up with, you know, starting classes at 7 in the morning that requires a lot of commitment, right? So, what was your day like after joining 10,000 coders? Yeah, after joining 10,000 coders, uh, starting 7 to 9, uh, class in Tundi, a uh, class in Dedi, and Tarbata, um, daily 8 hours, uh, you know, coding practice. Uh, um, because uh, trainer used to give us assignments and coding challenges. Uh, yeah, uh, he will ask us the next day about uh, what's the progress. So that, uh, you know, they like uh, 8 hours 
nearly eight hours uh, work chase on the projects and all the coding challenges. Okay. Like okay. Was it necessary? I mean, was eight hours the minimum needed or what do you think? How do you yeah, think eight necessary. hours played an important role? Yeah, it is necessary because uh, uh, coding is not like uh, overnight law. It is all about practice and all. Uh, practice has then a progress in the so that uh, I think it is needed okay. like to get okay. a developer job quickly. I mean, somewhat uh, fastly or like that. Okay. Okay. So I understand that you're from a CS background. So you had some basic knowledge about some languages, right? You definitely yeah. dealt with it in college. Yeah. So in that perspective, how was the curriculum? How do you think the curriculum was made such that yeah. everyone could understand? Yeah, in spite uh, I was a CSE background. I mean, I mean, I'm from the CSE background, but um, uh, I mean, you know that B uh, Tech a language perfect garadu, only like uh, basics, alane So uh, for a developer role, manki andi sari basic knowledge. We have to um, learn deep. So it was uh, like. Uh, I mean, if you front end in choose kuna kabati, uh, HTML, uh, they started uh, teaching uh, from HTML to uh, React JS. It was very helpful. Pratiti deep gown. Okay. Okay. In that aspect, how is 10,000 coders different from your four year degree? What is it that you felt was, was you, what is it was that you got from 10,000 coders that you didn't get from college? Yeah, mm, like uh, college days, no, just uh, uh, the teacher teaches the class and he will go off. It is uh, in 10,000 quarters institute, it is not like that. Uh, he will ask for progress and all. Uh, he gives us coding challenges and all. Uh, he gives us mini projects and all. So you have mm, Elante, like, Koncha Eko time this Koni, passionate ga, like a deep ga nature like any languages starting from the HTML to react to this. Okay. Okay. So you had something called the concept of stand-up calls and monitoring calls, right? So yeah, yeah. what they needed, were they necessary? If so, what was important about having these calls? Yes. Uh, I think the stand-up calls is necessary because uh, uh, and also uh, stand-up calls were uh, I mean, uh, in progress of done key help in the like okay. it's the reminding so, like thing. so can i assume that it is important to track a student's progress throughout the day yes it is important okay. yes it is important it makes okay. us uh, somewhat disciplined like that okay great so can you tell me a little bit about the support you got through the support team like you had a doubt while you were working on a code or a task so you could always count on someone in the group right so can you tell me about the support that you got yeah, first of all, like struck uh, other team, I mean not the team, other our uh, our mates, uh Valen first started and then uh uh Rakapote, we approached a mentor like that. Uh, yeah, the support was very good. Uh, they will explain us. Okay, okay, great. So coming to your communication sessions. Yes. So I want you to forget that I'm existing here. <laughs> just don't think that I was the one who handled it. So just assume it's someone else and I want to. I want you to be honest. I assume that you were honest so far, but I want you to be extra honest because it's me asking. So can you tell yeah. me a little bit about the communication sessions? Yeah, communication classes are uh, very because uh, at any technical skills, uh, at the end of the day, we need communication, like to communicate efficiently like that. Uh, Teja Shima Maku communication classes this Punaru. She was very good, like the stuck like uh, introduction, Ella Chipali, and all and all the aspects for uh, help chaser, like self-intro and all email writing. Yeah. In a proficient okay. way. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So you had mock interviews, right? You gave mocks. So yeah, how mock. how was that? Were mocks important? Were they helpful? What happened during mocks? Yeah, mocks were very important because uh, uh, first mock please go can you tell us that we can lie out and we can learn them. Yeah, so that uh, um, inter interviewer can tell us that we can lie out and 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 we can lie out. So after two, three mocks, uh, we are ready to go for a live interview. No? Uh, okay. It was very helpful for me. Especially. Okay. 
Great. So you had a time frame of nearly four to six months, right? And there might have been a time when you were like, let's not do this. I mean, it's hard. You had the option of quitting also, right? So, I mean, it's not going to work of sort. But what made you want to stay back or what was your source of, say, I want to become a developer no matter what? So what is that factor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the end of the day, I have a developer job and Kavali so that uh, I should work hard. Mm, so, our decision was not like uh, hard gun pitch level because uh, I was very passionate to get a developer job. Yeah, okay. that's So, I do realize from what you're saying that you're very, you were very determined, right? So, if I were to ask you what were the goals that you set on a daily basis, what would it be like? What did you tell yourself? I have to finish all of these things, only then I'll be able to achieve yeah. what I want. Alante, uh, class seven to nine. And then I should, uh, I'll take a uh, one hour break this morning and then I'll start uh, practicing coding and like AMA mixture or tasks or assignments or coding challenges. Avianta, like evening six parpun in practice, yes. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. it Great. Is yes, very nice. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about your placement, what your placement process and journey was like? Yeah, they have helped me to crack interviews with confidence. Like, uh, I now feel uh, well prepared to pursue my dream career as a developer. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great. If we were to divide your entire, say, life cycle at 10,000 coders as Janvi before 10,000 coders and Janvi after 10,000 coders getting placed, what would you tell? How do you look at yourself as? Yeah, after getting placed, I felt uh, a great sense of accomplishment and relief, actually. Uh, it was a very, I mean, uh, significant milestone in my journey, I said. Okay, okay, great. Thanks. Yeah, and I would definitely recommend 10,000 folders to my friends. Okay, now, thank you so much, Janvi. So that's about the questions that I wanted to ask. One last task before you leave. So I want you to summarize everything that you told so far into one short snippet of sort. So all the questions that you answer to me, I ask the question and you answer, right? So can you give it like a very small brief review at one stretch? Yeah. Before joining 10,000 coders, I'm from CSA background with the minimum basic knowledge in coding method. Through Instagram page, I 10,000 coders ni approach. And after joining 10,000 coders, I have learned uh, front-end development course. Uh, the live classes assignments was very helpful during training. The trainer uh, Chala Baga explained Jaisaru, like everything from scratch. The team was very supportive. The mentors was very supportive. Aimed out Sushna, they are always available to help us. And mock interviews Chala had finally to face real and live interviews. And finally, my suggestion for upcoming students is uh, uh, to maintain a proper notes and to be consistent because consistency is a key. And uh, uh, technical skills, you know, communication is very important. Uh, yeah, Tejashi ma'am has explained uh, the importance of communication and she's very helpful and supportive during the classes. I uh, have learned, uh, I mean, uh, uh, she have explained various aspects like self-intro and email writing and all. It was very much helpful. Thank you 10,000 coders for transforming my career.